Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Kurt roof rack for race side rails here on our 2020 GMC terrain. So adding a roof rack to your terrain, it's going to be an excellent option because it's going to make your vehicle that much more versatile. There are a ton of rooftop mounted accessories we can attach to these crossbars here. That's going to allow us to do everything from freeing free up some space inside the vehicle for those long road trips. We can attach either a cargo basket or a roof box if we're worried about those contents getting wet. Or if we just want to have some fun, we want to hit some trails, we could easily attach a couple bike racks to carry a couple bikes. If we want to hit a lake or some water, we could easily attach a couple kayaks with some kayak carriers. And be sure to check out all those carriers. We have a great selection here at eTrailer to choose from. So if we take a closer look at the actual crossbars themselves, now these have sort of an arrow design and that's really the best type compared to the other square or round bar options. And that's for two reasons. Number one, they're the most aerodynamic, so they're not gonna cut down, as, they're not gonna have as much drag as some of the other options, therefore we're not gonna be affecting our miles per gallon too much. And number two, if you've ever installed a roof rack on your vehicle here, you can sometimes be surprised to how loud these things can get on the highway. However, with the aero crossbars here, those cut down on that wind noise greatly, so it's something you're barely even going to notice. So in regards to length, each of our crossbars are gonna measure 53 and 3 8 inches long. So I think that's a perfect length here for this vehicle. It's not too much that we have too much overhang, but there's enough where we can use some accessories that require this, as well as not having as much trouble getting some of our larger items such as kayaks and surfboards onto the vehicle here. Some of those systems where the crossbars end right at the mounting feet, you have to do a lot more work to get the kayaks up onto the vehicle. And that's not something you want to do after a long day of kayaking. You're definitely tired and worn out. So you're definitely going to learn to appreciate the longer overhang. And obviously longer crossbars mean we can carry more accessories. So really depending on what you're going to be doing, you're going to be covered here. This is going to be a perfect length for your vehicle. As you can see here, the crossbars have a nice black powder coated finish, which I think blends in really well with the vehicle. It's also going to help protect the crossbars from rust and corrosion. So in regards to weight, our particular system here is going to be rated for 150 pounds evenly distributed across both crossbars. However, you may want to check in your owner's manual to verify either the railing or the roof's capacity. And then we need to abide by the lower of the two rated components, whether that be the roof or railing or our crossbars. So another feature that I like about this particular system here, which we'll show you a little bit later in the video, but if you'll notice on each side here, we're going to have a locking knob. Now, what this allows us to do is, it provides us an extra measure of security. We're not gonna have to worry about someone coming along and removing the crossbars from the vehicle because they're not gonna be able to do that without the key. We actually only need one lock core on each side here in order to secure the roof rack to the vehicle. Now, a locking option for a roof rack is certainly not unheard of. A lot of the other roof rack manufacturers have this feature as well. But one differentiating factor is that most of the Thule in the Yakima brands, they actually sell these separately. It's an added expense. With the Kurt option here, these are gonna be included at no extra charge. So in summary, I actually really like this Kurt roof rack. This is definitely something I would consider for a personal vehicle. Now, some of those other options such as Thule and Yakima, they are great roof rack systems, you know. They certainly have the brand name that's gonna hold up well over time. They are quality systems but it's really hard to justify that extra cost when we look at options such as the Kurt here. They're honestly a fraction of the cost and they really have all of those same great features as most of the other higher tier options, such as the aero bar design and the included locking cores, whereas we mentioned earlier, those are actually a separate expense for some of the other higher tier options. So in summary, this is a great economical option Definitely a great option for someone who's either just getting into carrying rooftop accessories or for someone who's been doing it for a long time. So in regards to installation, it doesn't get much easier than this, guys. These things can be on and off your roof in a matter of minutes. Definitely something that if you don't like the wind noise while they're up there or you just don't like the looks of them, we can easily take them off while not using them and then we can pop them back on when we do need to use them. It's very straightforward. We don't need any additional tools. Everything is actually integrated into the knobs on the side of the mounting feet. So we're gonna start our installation today with our front crossbar already into position, but we will show you how to install the rear. 
So basically all we need to do is just roughly align the mounting feet on the crossbar here to the approximate width of the railing on the roof of our vehicle. So once we have it in an approximate location, we can go ahead and set it on now. You can do this by yourself. You don't need an extra person because these things are very light. So we're gonna go ahead and set up an approximate location on the vehicle here. We may need to make some more adjustments to our feet, but that's pretty much it as far as getting it on the vehicle. And what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna measure the distance from the center of our front crossbar to the center of our rear crossbar. Now the correct location is really gonna vary depending on what we're gonna be carrying. We do, however, need it to be a minimum of 20 inches. So once we wanna go ahead and have it, in the correct location there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance from the outside of the mounting foot here to the outside of the crossbar and we essentially just want to make sure that's the same on both sides meaning it's not offset to one side more than the other. So now that we have the crossbars into position on the roof of the vehicle we have the correct spread and we have the crossbar centered. We're going to go ahead and begin tightening the thumb knob here and basically what this is doing, this is closing the jaws there on the mounting foot to get a nice firm grab here on the roof railing. So this is gonna tighten everything up and help hold it in place. It's also not a bad idea to jump back and forth from side to side and tighten these evenly. So once we get that knob cranked down enough, we're gonna go ahead, give a nice little jiggle here to our crossbars, make sure they don't go anywhere. But once we have both sides secure here, we're gonna take the included keys that come with our kit here. You can see we actually have a lock core in the end of our knob. We take a closer look at that. What we need to do is insert our key here, and then we're gonna be rotating that 180 degrees clockwise, and that's actually gonna lock it. It is still actually gonna spin, but it's not engaged there on that screw, so we're not tightening it or loosening it by spinning it now. So just something to keep note of, we do get a lot of customers that ask this question, why does it still spin with it being locked? It can still spin, but it's not engaged, so it's not actually loosening the clamp. Now with both of our crossbars into position, we're ready to load up our favorite accessories and hit the road. And that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt roof rack for raised side rails here on our 2020 GMC Terrain.